Facebook has a lot to do, and the leadership of Facebook has a lot to do. I continue to have great confidence in the integrity of Mark Zuckerberg and Sheryl Sandberg. There couldn't be two finer people running a company. It is a hell of a complicated company, as everybody knows. And I've read uh, what people have written about it recently, what people have been saying about it. Uh, and I ask myself exactly who uh, could run that place better, clean up those problems better. Yes, I, I continue to have a lot of confidence in those two people, but they have a very hard job to do, and a lot of people trying to take advantage of the platform they've built. Tom, what do you think Facebook is doing wrong right now, or, or what could they be doing better, maybe to, to staunch some of the bleeding that's taking place? Becky, I've been off of the Facebook board for three and a half years. I am uh, I'm best viewed as a former insider. Sure. I, uh, so I've got, uh, I am very, I follow Facebook very closely. I believe in the company. I believe in the people running it. But I'm not. Uh, uh, when you ask me about things going on this moment, yeah, I, I can't understood, give you money. Understand, but Don, I, I know you were a big proponent of kind of the ad revenue model, and that's more than 90% of the revenue the company takes in right now. There have been a lot of questions raised about whether that needs to change. Is this something that needs to go at least partially to a prescription or a pay for subscription sort of model? What do you think of that idea? Is this something that still exists or can exist as an ad revenue almost exclusively platform? Well, uh, I don't see another model that remotely uh, could build today's Facebook. I, you know, Facebook ever since its inception, ever since the earliest days, the earliest years, has inspired a lot of emotion and a lot of emotional reactions. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my feeling when one of these things happens is, we should take a deep breath. We should think about what, what we ourselves use Facebook for. Uh, Google, you need to use. Amazon, you often need to use. Apple, you either need one of their phones or, or the competitor's phones. Nobody needs to go on Facebook unless they find it enjoyable or useful. And uh, I, find, I continue to find it both. But that does not diminish the importance of the misuse of the platform uh, by Russian and other state actors in 2016. Facebook's got a big job cleaning it up, and they've got, they, uh, despite what everybody's been, uh, despite some of the things that have been said, I, I believe as strongly as I can in the two people working to fix it. Don, there seems to me to be two challenges, though, that Facebook is facing. Um, as you just said, it's something that you don't need, but you, you, you need to, for, her, for Facebook to, to work, you need to want it. And so there, there's an issue that we haven't talked a lot about recently, given the, given the other news, which is just how millennials and younger people are not using the service uh, the way they did. That cool factor is an important component of all this. And then the second piece is not so much just 2016, but even what's happening in 2018 in terms of being able to police properly what's on the service, some of the things you saw happening even ahead of the midterms or some of the other um, uh, trolling and, and, and other misbehavior, and, and whether you think the model unto itself is broken and how you fix that. So to me, there's, there, there's two pieces. I don't know which one you think is ultimately more important. Uh, Andrew, go back to the first half of your question. I'm having trouble hearing you, and just pick, uh, pick, go back to the first part, the first thing you said. Uh, uh, the first piece of the, the question was, how, when you look at the service unto itself, we ha you, you can see that younger people are yeah. not as attracted so, uh, to the you service can, you as can, they used to be. When I get in a room full of high school or college students, just out of curiosity, I always ask them what social media sites they use and what sites they use, because I'm constantly learning about two things, uh, new things that I didn't know before. Uh, Mark was smart enough years ago to buy Instagram at what now looks like uh, a very low price and to buy WhatsApp to be determined. Uh, the the uh, younger people you're talking about who are not heavy Facebook users are very, very heavy Instagram users. They're also Snapchat users. They're, they're users of plenty of other services. But Facebook continues to have, uh, Facebook and its suite of products continue to have very deep reach among, young, among the young people I myself talk to. Hey, hey Don, you, you mentioned some of the problems facing them from a regulatory perspective. Senator Mark Warner told the New York Times over the weekend 
that he thinks Facebook really needs to look at the advertising model. What kind of a threat do you think it would pose if Washington, because this is one of the few areas that seem to be kind of a bipartisan issue, both the right and the left, are, are kind of piling onto the social media networks at this time and, and, and talking about privacy issues. If privacy yeah, laws like we saw in Europe are passed here in the United States, what would that mean for Facebook? Yeah, Becky, your analysis is exactly right. The, uh, everybody is waving their arms at the, at, the, at the tech companies right now and screaming that they need to be regulated. I have a, a sort of a troglodyte view here. I think any regulation of the likes of Google and Facebook uh, will slow them down dramatically, probably impair their futures significantly. When, when companies are going very, very well, as Google has been for years, as Apple and Amazon have been, and as Facebook has been, there's a tendency to view them as permanent. And as uh, even you three know, that that isn't so. That, you know, when I was starting out in business, IBM was the colossus that you couldn't do anything about, and then Microsoft was. And business changes. I think, does Facebook have a long run in front of it? That will have a lot to do with the way they handle these issues and the public perception of the company. Uh, it's, I don't think that's guaranteed. And does, you know, <clears throat> this is the city where nothing happens. It may be that the regulation of social media companies is an exception and Congress can somehow pull itself together and pass a bill. Uh, but uh, it's usually wise to bet the other side. I, 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 it, there may be some regulation of Facebook, certainly the, this Honest Ads Act that uh, Facebook has sort of pre-adopted, I think is a very good thing. That's an example of something that could be done. Sure. Um, Don, very quickly, I want to talk to you about the scholarship program that you funded. It's the largest for dreamers that we've seen here in this country, raised over $90 million. What impact do you think? A divided Congress will now have on potentially looking at any immigration policy, any immigration legislation. Becky, I, that, thank you for the question. Congress is coming back for a two-week lame duck session, and President Trump is focusing on his desire to build the wall, to focus on border security. Uh, it's a slim chance, but I hope the Democrats are listening to what the president says and seeing an opportunity to do something about the million seven hundred thousand young people in this country, seven hundred thousand of whom as DACA recipients have committed no crimes, and that this lame duck session offers a chance to resolve the status of some of those people. Maybe the president can get some of what he wants, and of course the president also earlier this year made a very generous proposal for the dreamers if some of his own aims were resolved. Maybe we could get a compromise. Uh, Becky, a dreamer won a Rhodes Scholarship this week and is off to Oxford for two weeks to study medicine, hoping to work on cures for diseases. If DACA goes away while he's out of the country, he will come back and will not be able to work for any employer in the United States legally. Wow. That's crazy. It is. Hey, Don, we always love having you on. Will you do us a favor? Let us know when you're in New York left yet next. We'd love to have you in studio. Good to see you all three. Take Let care.